All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the ASUS uh, ROG Flow. I have the 2024, or actually 2022 uh, variant of the Z13, and I have been doing a uh, Baslight challenge for this month, and I had so installed Baslight uh, onto that device, and I just wanna give you my feedback and kind of how my experience has been so far on it just kind of how the, the, the device itself is holding up in uh, 2025. So if you're unfamiliar with, you know, Bazite, it's it's a Linux distro that I've installed onto it. It's basically just like SteamOS. And I am going to be, you know, doing majority of my, you know, day-to-day -day stuff on here and um, some gaming as well. And so I've been testing it on multiple devices, um, including this one, uh, as well as my desktop and another laptop in my Steam Deck as well. Um, so yeah, so let, let's kind of just jump right into it. First and foremost, I feel like Bazite on this device is a great fit. It it definitely, compared to other distros that I've tried on here, I've tried Cache OS, um, I've tried Nabora, I've tried you know, pretty much all of the gaming <laughs> eccentric distros out there. And this has been the best experience, like hardware wise, actually overall, I would have to say, um, that I've had on this device with Linux on it. It's really been really good. And so like my current setup right now, I actually have this this device, which looks like this, this guy right here. Um, I have it connected to a um, 1X GPU, which has an AMD uh, 7800, I believe, in there. And then uh, I have that paired you know, directly into the tablet here. As you can see, with this device being so mobile um it's, it's just a great fit and then it also comes with you know the the keyboard you know as well and what i found the best about this uh specific setup is the all the hardware just work i've had issues you know installing it onto other devices or other distros and when i do that like either my uh the keypad is not working um, on the keyboard uh, or I can't, you know, scroll um, using my fingers on the touchpad. So there's always been something like finicky about it or the lighting, you know, doesn't work, but everything just works like right out of the box. It actually installed the ROG um, control center and the CLI version of that uh, for Asus automatically. So all that was already on there um, and configured and it was just working, you know, out of the box. And it was, it was really a, a good experience. I, did, I wasn't expecting it to be that way because um, every other distro I've installed, I've had to you know, add that, you know, manually and install it and, and get everything up and running myself. Um, but it seems like everything just kind of just kind of works. Um, and also with the eGPU, um, I was using that on Windows on the same device here. And one of the issues I was having is when I had it on that device on Windows, it would randomly just like restart and say a GPU crash um, while in the middle of me playing games. And it did this, you know, quite frequently. Um, was at, I was at my my parents house and my brother my two brothers were there and we're all playing games and it's just kept happening repeatedly like within the hour while we were playing and it was just, it was a very frustrating experience and now i've installed you know bazite on here and using the same gpu and uh even today um, i played uh for a while and i've had no crashes and and no issues i'm actually able to play you know a pretty good you know frame rates and everything um so i'm actually going to load it up right now just to show you that you know everything you know is working on it real quick and i just feel like it's 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 really great um and i've also played uh, the finals on here uh the finals runs really great i was able to play in high settings um getting like 100 to 120 um, fps on there uh which is which is really good for you know <laughs> running on a tablet uh with the egpu connected to it and just the experience overall has been has been really good with uh with gaming so one thing that I have been able to get running on here is when I'm on my desktop and my laptop when um, loading up Marvel Rivals, uh, for whatever reason, I could never get the main screen to not just have a black background. And on this device in particular, I was able to get it to run, you know, completely fine and have uh the background so like when you go to like the victory screen and stuff like that there's no black background or anything so i actually have the loading screen here and you know when i click into it it loads and and plays the uh the video in the beginning which has been a great experience because i have not been able to get that to work on linux as of yet the only distro slash device that i've been able to 
you know, get that working on. Um, now, mind you, it does work on the other devices, but you just have this, like, it's more of a pet peeve <laughs> for, for me. You just have this, like, this whole screen is black, typically. Um, so you don't have anything, you know, here. And then when you do jump into it, you don't see anything on this next screen. Like, this loading screen is completely black. And then um, when you actually get into the game, this whole screen is black. Um, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. <laughs> I've tried multiple different things. I've tried, you know, doing different launch options and different Proton versions and everything. And this this seems to be uh, the best experience I've had so far. So I'm just going to run into like a quick, quick match where I continue to talk about this. But you can see kind of how the experience is and um, how everything loads on here. So I have not actually recorded a game while playing on here. Mind you, this only has 16 gigs of RAM. So that might hinder a little bit of the performance, but um, it shouldn't should be that it shouldn't be too bad. Pick your hero or villain. I'm not judging. I'm Luna Snow, like the moon. Let's I go shine heels. in darkness. Um, so yeah, so I really feel like this is a, a really good combination um, to have on this you know particular computer. I didn't have to do very much you know tinkering at all. The only thing I actually had to do was just install the always eGPU with one you know command line. And actually had like a bad site Steam OS, you know, command for it, uh, for immutable distros, and so I just installed that, and it was, it was good to go. Um, I really had no, you know, no issues uh, whatsoever after that. So as you can see here, I'm currently getting around like 80 um, FPS or so. I think I do have uh, a right generation now, I think we need superheroes for that. Yes, I do have AMD frame generation on. I've heard some people say to, to have that off if you're playing on Linux, but uh, I'm just going to try it on and just see, you know, how that works. And yeah, I mean, everything seems to just run pretty well. I really don't have any, you know, major, major complaints here. All systems smash! Yeah, as you can see, it's running, I've still got running pretty well. No issues, no frame drops. Um, this has been a pretty good experience. Like the 
really didn't get the point, but... As you can see, um, it ran pretty well, so if you have a device like this, I do suggest maybe trying um, Bazite or just trying Bazite on any other um, you know type of laptop or handheld or anything like that because it, it has been you know really really good experience as far as like gaming and um, I, re I really want to put emphasis on the hardware compatibility the way it was just like easily like out of the box like with no issues I think that's the biggest like win for Bazite right now. Um, so I mean, I think performance-wise, you can pretty much get that same performance on most distros. It's not that Bazai is doing anything like extraordinarily extraordinary um, in that terms, but as far as hardware compatibility, I feel like it's really shining because all of my devices have been, you know, easy to configure and work far. So, so yeah. So if you like my content, um, please consider subscribing um, and liking the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.